Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see one more problem on integration by substitution. Let us start with problem number 14. Evaluate integral 6 square x upon 1 plus tan x into 2 plus tan x dx. Here you can clearly see the function which is present in the numerator is 6 square x and the function whose derivative is 6 square x is tan x which is already present in the denominator. Let us substitute tan x as t differentiating with respect to t this will give you 6 square x dx is equal to dt i will be 6 square x dx is dt upon 1 plus tan x is t and we have 2 plus t here we have two terms present in the denominator which are in the product form and this part can be converted into partial form yes you have identified it correctly this integration is under integration by partial form considering this partial form 1 upon 1 plus t into 2 plus t we will convert this in two different fractions let us assume that the two different fractions are a and b out of which the denominator of a will be 1 plus t and the denominator of b will be 2 plus t both will be separated by a plus sign instead of this this part is easy to integrate now the next step will include calculating the value of a and b for that we will multiply this term on both sides multiplying by 1 plus t into 2 plus t on both sides this will give you 1 upon 1 plus t into 2 plus t into 1 plus t into 2 plus t on the right hand side we will multiply it with a that is a upon 1 plus t into 1 plus t into 2 plus t plus b upon 2 plus t into again we have 1 plus t into 2 plus t here you can see this part will be cancelled directly and here 1 plus t will be cancelled and on the second side 2 plus t will be cancelled let us see the remaining part this will give you 1 is equal to a into 2 plus t plus b into 1 plus t now to find the values of a and b we will substitute or give certain values to t one by one as t is our variable to find a we need to make this bracket zero and this bracket will be zero only when the value of t will be minus one as one minus one will give you zero let us substitute or put t is equal to minus one one will be as it is here a 2 plus value of t is minus 1 plus b into 1 plus minus 1 as you can see 1 minus 1 will be 0 here this entire bracket will be 0 that will give you plus of minus is minus 2 minus 1 is 1 therefore the value of a is 1 similarly we will find the value of b for that this bracket needs to be 0 and therefore we will substitute or put t is equal to minus 2 put t is equal to minus 2 this will give you 1 a 2 plus of minus 2 plus b into 1 plus minus 2 plus into minus will be minus and 2 minus 2 will give you 0 therefore we have 1 is equal to b into 1 minus 2 will give you minus 1 therefore b becomes minus 1 
Now I will substitute the values of a and b in the given fraction. I was dt upon 1 plus t into 2 plus t. For that its partial form was a upon 1 plus t plus b upon 2 plus t. The value of a is 1. This becomes 1 upon 1 plus t plus the value of b is minus 1. This becomes minus 1 upon 2 plus t. Let us separate these integrals. This will give you i is equal to integral 1 upon 1 plus t dt plus into minus is minus 1 upon 2 plus t dt. Here to find integration of 1 upon 1 plus t I can compare it with integral 1 by x that will give you log x as x should be a linear term 1 plus t is also a linear term and here similarly 2 plus t is also linear term therefore integral of 1 upon 1 plus t will give you log of 1 plus t minus integral of 1 upon 2 plus t will give you log of 2 plus t plus c now we will resubstitute the value of t as tan x. This will give you log of 1 plus tan x minus log of 2 plus tan x plus c. Here you can use the formula log a minus log b. We know that log a minus log b is log a by b. Similarly, log of 1 plus tan x minus log of 2 plus tan x will give you log of 1 plus tan x upon 2 plus tan x plus c. This becomes the integration of the given function. I hope friends you have understood this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda.